regular viewers of the channel uh, or indeed people who have uh, seen seen the stuff I've produced over the last six months will undoubtedly be familiar with this uh, camera. This is the Sony AX53. It's, I wouldn't, well, it's kind of my, it's a camera I use for everything now, but one of the th questions that keeps cropping up to do with this camera is around its inability to, to manually set shutter and other sort of exposure related settings. So um, iris or aperture as it is, and uh, without one of them resetting to auto. People have asked me that question a number of times in comments. So I thought I'd do a video now just to follow up and show you exactly how this operates in that way. Uh, so I'm gonna try and do it here. I'm a little bit sort of botchy here because I've just got this uh, camera in my hand and I'm gonna have to kind of focus my other camera and, and things. But if, uh, let me give the screen a quick wipe. Right. So if we take a look at the, uh, if we take a look at the screen here, and if I can, if I can line this up properly, and what I'll do now is I'll just try and zoom in the camera a little bit and focus it. So it looks fairly decent, at least. Right. So this is the, this is the camera as I would use it. And I actually have shutter set as my custom button here so that I can change, or I can touch on that, and I can change that really, really easily to manual. And you'll see that I can set the shutter to whatever I want it to be, 25th of a second, 30th of a second, 50th of a second. So usually I would have it set at 50th of a second because this is a PAL camera, not an NTSC camera. So I'd set that to 150th of a second and click OK. And you'll see that just here, it highlights the fact that it is set to 1 50th of a second. That's fine. So if I go into the menu now and I go to camera and I change the iris setting and I set, set that to manual, now I want that set to f, let's say f2.4, and I click OK. You'll see immediately that my shutter is now back in the auto setting. Okay, so that's fine. That's one point covered off. But people are saying, well, isn't that what the ring's for? The kind of this, um, this ring. God, this is awkward, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that what this is for at the front here, this ring, uh, which you can then sort of set with this button, the manual button here. Well, that's what you think, but unfortunately it is crippled in Sony software, and I'm just gonna prove that to you now. Um, I'm sort of monitoring my screen, I'm monitoring what I'm doing here, and I'm not doing a very good job of it, so sorry about this. And so everything's kind of reversed, so my brain is getting messed up. Uh, right, so if I set my iris back to automatic, and I go into my shutter again, and I set that to manual, and now I click on OK, you can see here that we have 50th of a second. So if I go into my manual button down the side, press and hold it, which is what you do to get into your separate settings, and you can adjust one of these. You can set, you want to say you want to set your exposure, or I want to set my iris, of course, because I want to be able to set my iris and my shutter speed together. You know, I want to set them both manually, but if I select that, iris is set, so now I can adjust my iris with the focus ring at the front with the main sort of ring at the front but of course you can see there quite clearly that my shutter is now back in auto mode it immediately switches back to auto mode there is no way around that there is of course the option to if I, i've just switched the iris back to auto if i shut, shut set this to manual again and go to um you get it it's on the 50th of a second if i select something non-exposure related like focus, well, that's fine. It lets me do that. You can see that my focus is now manual from this hand with the F in it, and my shutter is now set to a 50th of a second, so it lets me do that. That's not a problem. But anything exposure related cannot be fully manually set. It's a limitation of the camera, it's a limitation in software, and I kind of totally get why Sony decided to do that because really it separates this out as a um, kind of still a sort of consu slightly consumer camcorder, I suppose. It doesn't add the full functionality of the, is it the AX100? 
And it's a real shame because this would be just, it's a great camera, but it would be just that little bit better if you could do that. So I hope that's helpful to answer that question that a few people have had. And, and if you, you've still got any kind of queries over it, or if, I, if you think I'm not setting something right in, in, the, in the main kind of menus or something, then, then just let me know, get back to me. But uh, hopefully that clears it up. Thanks for watching. Catch you soon.